stepwise regression, stepwise multiple regression, okay, we're going to go ahead and use SPSS to determine which one of these predictors or groups of predictors is significantly contributing to the DV, which is the four-year resale price or criterion variable. We should use the right terminology. Okay, so let me pull it up. Hold on. So this looks like the right one. Look at all the different kinds of cars. Uh, I always like to look at the real data here. Bam. So everything is marked properly, right? They're all scales except for the first two. Uh, the make and model of the car, we really don't care about that. we got numbers all over the place. Okay, so let's go ahead and run our stepwise analysis. Regression, linear. Get in there, you. And our DV was resale, four-year resale value. And then we're going to stick in all the other IVs. At the same time. We're going to choose stepwise and to check our assumptions, right? We go to descriptives, parts, and partials, collinearity, Durbin Watson, continue, plots. Predictors are always the X's, residuals are always the Y's. Save, that's where our Mahalanobis is. That'll tell us about outliers. And that's it. So to make this a shorter video, I'm not going to address the assumptions of the multiple regression model. You guys can do that. It does violate one or two up there, but that's not why I'm trying to show you the stepwise. All right, output sheet. There's the first box, descriptive statistics. Don't really need that. Correlations, again, they're important, but not with what we're doing here for the multiple regression. Here's your first money box. So for the stepwise regression, what the computer says, what SPSS says, is these are your top four predictors. These are the only four that are significant. If they're not on this list, they're not significant. Got it? So our multiple, our, I'm sorry, our model summary. That means it ran four different regression models. So we're going to use the last one only, the last one, number four. Okay? And its R squared is about 71%, which is really, really good. So you go down here to the fourth one. The predictors are horsepower, length of the car, engine size, and fuel capacity. Those are going to be our four predictors that are significant. And again, the ANOVA for the four is significant. So, so here are our four significant predictors. Engine size, horsepower, length, and fuel capacity from the SPSS output sheet. We could have used this one, right, the fourth row here. Gives us an R squared of 0.7, I'm sorry, yeah, 0.713, which is large. Here's our ANOVA table just for the fourth one. Let me highlight this here. This one is significant. And those are the four predictors that are significant according to the stepwise. So that answers that question. Moving on to the next question. Where are you? So which predictor was the strongest? And so we went to the coefficients box, right? That's the one with the beta weights. And horsepower by far. Hey, look at that beta weight, 1.141. It is the king. It is the best predictor of the resale price, okay? So they want the shared and the unique contributions. Remember, so the shared is the partials. So whatever this number is, you have to square it. And whatever the part is, that's the unique contribution, you have to square that. So we did that for the all three, for engine size, length, and fuel capacity. So there's their shared contributions to the DV and their unique contributions to the DV. And I think I forgot to do that for the number two. But for horsepower, again, you simply take the partial correlation and you square it. That gives you the shared contribution, which means that it's using these other variables with its controlling the DV, and the unique means all the other variables have been controlled for. They've been pulled out. So that's what this is. And again, there's number three. Question number four, you're going to write out the regression of the predictors. Here is that equation. We're going to use the, hold on, let me make this a little bit better here. 
we're going to use the unstandardized B weights to add to write the actual equation. Okay, so the constant number is 31.83 that we write that way over here. But there's your your horsepower number, 0.36. There's your uh, length number, negative 2.86. Your engine size is 0.486, and your fuel capacity is 0.672. And again, X1 is horsepower. X2 is length, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So there is your regression equation. That little sigma means error. That means that's that's what you're going to get wrong, but we don't know what that is. And the last question is, we're going to substitute these values for horsepower, length, engine size, and gas capacity. Plug them into the equation, and we're going to get an estimated calculation of this car should resale for about $33,960, according to our multiple regression model, which is pretty darn accurate. So, But I hope that helps, and that's Stepwise Regression, MGZ.